So you're going to start braiding here and you want to curve it around going back that way. Hopefully you can see it again. Okay. Put a rubber band on that too. Like I said, this hairstyle is extremely, extremely time consuming and your hands are going to be so, so tired. Especially if you corn rolling yourself. I started to get someone else to do my corn rolls, but I don't. I couldn't. I don't. I can't take nobody else tugging and pulling in my head. So I decided to try and do it myself. Um, I had to take an aspirin before I started. So okay. So um, I looked at the picture and uh, from the from what I can tell. It looks like the rest of uh, the cornrows in the top that she has, she just started to do them uh, at a slant this way. So all this right here will be cornrow, but it will be at, like at a slant, just diagonal, going that way, in a line. So uh, that's pretty much basically what I'm going to do. I do one on camera. Like I said, I know this uh, video is extremely long, uh, mainly because of the, the cornrows and the design and the parts and all of that. Okay, so this is my first one, my first part going diagonal. As you can see, this is the first one. Um, so you just want to braid that going back, and then after that, you want to make little small parts and go all the way across in this following the same um, direction. All the way across so that's pretty much self-explanatory it's not too hard to follow um, that uh, pattern the way it's parted so I'm gonna go ahead and do it all the way across okay as you can see I'm almost done corn rolling it in a slant I'll show you the part I've did see I've did like over half of it 
So I'm just going straight back, slamming them straight back, going that way. And I got this much more to go. And this is probably about, probably about four corn rolls, probably. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that. Okay, as you can see, I finally finished flat, well, corn roll in the front of it. And I'll show you what it looks like, as you can see. So next, what you want to do is you want to roll a set the back of it. Like I said, I showed you I used Silk Element uh, foam wrap. And these are the rollers I'm going to be using. I got some in black, some in blue. They're the same size, though. So I'm going to start off using the black ones. And um, I'm just going to roll a set all of it. Now, the thing is with these rollers, you want to make sure that you don't put a lot of hair on them because you do... Unless you're using clips, you're using the clip, that's fine, but I'm using the clamp that came with the rollers. Let's see if I can. I'm using the clamp that come with the rollers, so if you put a lot of hair on it, uh, this will probably pop off. So, and um, I'm not going to sit up on the dry, I'm going to let my hair air dry, so I'm going to try to put as less hair, a thin amount of hair as possible on here, um, so it won't take so long for it to get dry. So, um, the hair that, that's actually a corn roll, the ends of the corn roll, I'm going to roll it uh, last and it'll probably, yeah, I'm going to roll it last. I'm sorry. I keep, I don't know. I'm thinking about something else. Anyway, I'm going to roll it last and, um, I'm probably going to use one roller for each one. So I'm just going to section it off for now, um, because I don't want to incorporate it into this part of my hair because the end of these, the corn rolls are already thick. So, um, I'm going to probably have to put one roller on each one of those, probably. So, I'm just going to section it off for the time being. And I'm not going to roller set my my whole head on camera. I'm just going to do a few and um, finish it up and then come back. So, I'm going to just turn around so you can see. And I'm not going to um, make the parts extremely, extremely wide because, as you can see, I'm turning the roller straight up and down like this. And you can see the rollers is not very long. So I don't want to make my sections bigger than, wider than the roller actually is. So I'm going to start like right here. This will be my first section. I'm just gonna. I don't. I don't try to get the parts extremely, extremely good. I just pretty much finger do it, finger uh, part. So yeah, I just put some set lotion on it all the way to the tip. And I comb through it once, just like I normally do when I did the other roller set. Take the roller spot at the end of it. So that's the way I'm going to roll. I'm going to go ahead and roll this whole roll. This is the first row I rolled. I'll turn around so you can see it. That's the first row. So now I'm going to make another another row to start. Um,
Okay, so that'll be next section. So you want to roll this section uh, just like you did the top one. Okay, so I finished that roll as well. So next I'm going to go to the next roll and uh, section some more hair off and roll it. Um, I'm probably going to make two sections out of this because I want my curls to kind of hang in the back some. So.